Right guys, so this is uh, some decent ribeye steak on a Saturday afternoon, uh, which I'm gonna knock out right away on the gratar on the grill. So I take you through the whole procedure. Unfortunately, uh, I don't have a tripod, so um, I will have to just take you through and you have to take my word on it but i'm going to season it now with sea salt and cracked pepper sea salt is cornish but if you prefer the ones from the himalayas uh, or from the the one from parite transylvania uh, from the caves that's equally good all done all nicely seasoned and as you can see i am not shy neither with the pepper nor with the sea salt so people prefer to put the pepper after the steak is cooked um, it does have some magic that way as well because in my case the pepper will burn a little bit on the barbecue on the heat so if you don't prefer it that way then obviously uh, put it there after but the sea salt is crucial um, it kind of cooks into the meat now let me put them onto the barbecue all is done and now I just put them on a olive wood chopping board doesn't need to be olive wood but you know when you have it you might as well show it you know and then let it rest for around four and a quarter of a second a minute and then you are ready to go with some potato puree and so on and so forth for good measure I put a couple of uh, a couple of uh, eggs sunny side up on them and it's just absolutely amazing tasteful juicy ribeye El Royale 